Hey folks, welcome back to Maverick Watch Reviews. Now I've got something incredibly special for you today. Today we have the Citizen EcoDrive 1, model number AR5000-50E, and this watch has the distinction of being the world's thinnest solar-powered watch, and it is really, really cool. Now first I want to thank Duty Free Island for sending me this review unit. At Duty Free Island you get duty free, tax free, and free worldwide shipping. Duty Free Island only sells 100% authentic and genuine watches and they're simply just a great bunch of folks to deal with. Great prices, huge selection, free worldwide shipping, you really can't go wrong. Do yourself a favor, if you're in the market for a watch, head over to their website and pick yourself up a great, great deal. Now as usual we'll open this thing up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, the build quality. And then I'll give you my overall impressions of the world's thinnest solar powered watch. But first, I'd also like to invite you to become a patron of mine on Patreon. This will allow me to buy a faster laptop and better editing software. And I hope to give you a new watch review at least a couple times a week, at least that's my goal. Make sure you check out my Patreon page when you get a chance. My only commitment level is $3 a month, but you can always give more or less, one, three, five, 10, 20, whatever you can spare a month would be really, really appreciated. Okay, so let's check this watch out. All right, let's take it out of the box here. There it is. Really cool watch. All right, let me show you the standard stuff. You have your international guarantee, and of course you have your owner's manual. There you go. All right. Actually, let's take this and put it back in here. Got to, I have to be really careful with this watch. All right. Now let's go ahead and get the basic specs and I'm gonna get the uh, micrometer. Now I know the official citizen measurements for this thing, but I wanna check myself, okay? So let's check out the case size. Case size. Let's see here. Yep, 39. So they're saying 40 millimeters, that's right. All right, let's do the thickness. This is the real cool one. Wow, 3.9 millimeters thick. Now they're saying I think uh, 2.98, but I think that's also incorporating a little bit of the uh, the bezel. We'll talk about that later. Uh, let's look at lug to lug. Lug to lug, you're looking at 45. And let's look at the stainless steel bracelet. That's a really thin one, by the way. You're coming at uh, 17. So. Citizen is, Citizen is saying that the overall thickness of the watch is 2.98 millimeters and the actual movement itself is a millimeter. So there you go, a little bit of discrepancy uh, with what they're saying and what my uh, my digital calipers are saying, but I'm gonna believe Citizen. <laughs> anyway, um, over on the left-hand side of the screen, let's talk about the other specs. Now they're saying this water is this watch is water resistant, which means it could probably withstand a splash or two. Do not take this in the shower. Do not take this in the pool. Do not take this to the beach. Uh, you know, don't take this anywhere near water except for maybe the occasional splash. Uh, it does have a Surmet bezel. Now Surmet bezel basically stands for ceramic and metal combined. It's kind of a, a hybrid bezel, incredibly, incredibly hard. You've got the crown over here at three o'clock, a little itty bitty tiny crown. We'll talk a little bit about that later. It does have an AR coated sapphire crystal. Of course, there's the AR coating underneath. I'm gonna try to shine it so you can see that. I don't know if you can see it very well. Anyway. Um, it has the 8826 quartz movement, which has a 12 month power reserve. Uh, these are hand built because the tolerances are so tight. These are hand built and they're hand built in Japan. So no mass production line for these watches, obviously, because the tolerances are just so, so fine. Um, this is a really, really neat watch. Now, I guess y'all have been waiting for me to actually show you the profile. And here you go. Bam. <laughs> wow. That is really, really cool. The bracelet is almost thicker than the actual watch, than the actual case and everything. Wow, that's really, really cool. Um, now, even though it's really thin, it doesn't feel fragile uh, because the case and the bezel are so hard. I mean, I'm not saying you can knock this around like a G-Shock, but this thing, it, it, even though it's light, it feels incredibly well-built and it does feel kind of substantial, even though it's a very light, very thin watch. Just because of that Surmet bezel and the stainless steel case, and this stainless steel case is also covered with uh, Duratec, which is um, which is Citizen's proprietary diamond-like carbon coating. So the case is really hard. The Surmet bezel is very hard, uh, and they have to be because this watch is so thin. The whole watch is held together by these four screws, and they go through the case to the back. 
So, I mean, it's it's an engineering marvel for sure. Uh, let's get to the actual watch uh, itself, some of the features. There really aren't any features. I mean, you got some applied indexes there. Uh, a really, really simple black dial. You got the word citizen. No other writing over there. Un, un, there's no other writing on the dial um, except at the very bottom where you can see Japan and the, um, and the movement number, which is uh, 8826. That's it. I wish they could have maybe, you know, possibly engineered a date window in there, but I'm assuming because the watch is so thin and all the tolerances, they just couldn't do it. But anyway, not a big deal. I mean, it's cool enough that it's the world's thinnest, like, you know, solar powered watch. That's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, the watch is also completely silent. I held, I held it up to my ear. I could hear nothing. It's, I mean, it's completely silent. Really, really, really cool. Now, the, another cool thing about this is that Citizen says that it really doesn't run off of the lithium-ion battery. Now, some people keep saying that these have capacitors in them. They don't have capacitors. They have a backup lithium-ion cell, but Seiko says that it gets its energy from direct sunlight to electricity conversion. So as soon as the, the sunlight or any other sort of like incandescent um, fluorescent outdoor sunlight, whatever hits us, it immediately you know converts it to electricity, and it stores the overcharge in a backup lithium ion cell, which is really really cool. No capacitor, an actual lithium ion cell uh, is in this watch. Really really cool. Now um, let's talk about the case itself. Again, just a nice Duratec coated stainless steel case. I mean nothing. I mean you have mostly. It looks like it's mostly brushed areas. You got some polish on the sides there. Uh, mostly uh, brushed on the lugs, and everything else is pretty much a brushed finish. You've got looks like a, a polished inner chapter ring right there. Um, let's look at the crown. The crown is tiny. I mean, tiny, tiny, and it's even hard to kind of grasp because your nail, uh, when you try to get it in there, it's so tiny. You're, you're, you're first of all, you're afraid you're going to pull it out too hard and break it. So you have to be kind of you know gentle with this crown, just because it, it's so small and it's a little bit hard to grasp because it's you know, again, so small. Um, that's really about it for the case. Of course, on the, on the back, you have some laser etching there in the, um, see if I can, let me open this butterfly clasp. You have some laser etching on there. There you go. And this is not a watch you want to try to open yourself. This is only a watch you can send to an authorized citizen service center. Do not attempt to open this watch. Uh, first of all, because that cell back there is a proprietary lithium ion cell. Uh, it's, it's proprietary to Citizen. There are no other batteries out there that will fit this watch but this particular one. But the cool thing is you're never going to have to do that. These watches are, you know, basically maintenance free. You don't have to open these things up. They're not meant to be opened up. They're meant to be, you know, once they make them, they seal them. And you're, you know, you're really not going to have any sort of problems with this watch. I've had Citizen watches that have lasted me 10 or 15 years with no problems. Um, so don't even worry about, you know, servicing this thing. You're not going to have to mess with it. That's the beauty of a solar powered watch. You just don't really have to mess with these things. Again, um, there was a case back. Let's talk about the actual uh, bracelet. You know, a little bit thin for my taste. Of course, this whole watch is thin, but I wish maybe they had made it a little bit bigger. Uh, 17 millimeters is an awfully thin bracelet, especially for a big guy like myself. Never been a big fan of the butterfly class, but this one's done pretty well. I'm actually... Impressed. You've got some nice decoration on the clasp there. Really cool. And I'll try this thing on here in just a second. Um, not a big fan of butterfly clasp, but this one actually does it pretty well. And that's really it for the basic functions of the watch. Uh, it is a tad pricey uh, for a watch that only tells time. Again, there are no, there's no other, um, no other functions with this watch. Not a date window not a day window, nothing. I mean, basically this is it. This is all you're going to get with this watch. And let me, let me wipe off that dial real quick. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. Um, again, it's a little bit pricey for a watch that only tells the time, but I mean, what, you, what you're paying for is you're paying for the engineering to make this the world's thinnest solar powered watch. And that's fine with me. When you put it on your wrist, which I will go ahead and do for you, you can't, you can't even feel that it's there. <laughs> you really can't feel that it's there. So you have to kind of remind yourself, hey, look, I have the world's thinnest solar powered watch on my wrist. And, you know, make sure you don't bump it into things and, and that type of thing. Even though, you know, it does have the Duratic coating and it does have a sapphire crystal, you, you know, you still want to be a little careful with this thing because it is the world's thinnest solar powered watch. All right, let me pry this thing on here. There we go. But there you go. And if you look at the profile while you're wearing it, 
I mean, you're, you're going to forget that you have this watch on your wrist, absolutely. But it does have some nice presence, really, really nice, classy looking dress watch. And I'm not even a dress watch guy, but gosh, I like this one. Really, really cool. Really, really neat. All right, now I would try to give you a loom shot, but there is no loom on this watch. You would think for what they're charging, you could maybe get some loom, but maybe the application of loom would have made this watch too thick. I don't know. I don't know. Let me get this thing off. God, I've got to be real careful with this thing. Uh. All right, there we go. All right, close the uh, clasp back up here. And I like, I like stuff like this. Now, I know it's going to be expensive, but I like it when they push the boundaries of how you can design a watch, the technical limits of making a watch like this. I think it's just incredibly, incredibly cool. There's another shot of the case back. There you go. And obviously this is made in Japan, hand built in Japan because the tolerances are so thick. They couldn't really trust any machines to put these together. You need, you know, you need the human touch to put a watch like this together. Really, really, really cool watch. Now you can get one of these over at Duty Free Island for $1,321. So $1,321, $1,321. Yep, that's, re <laughs> that's really expensive, guys. But again, you're getting the world's thinnest solar-powered watch. So you got to kind of remind yourself you're really buying an engineering marvel for that money. Now, there are a couple different versions of this, and I'll put all of those links into the description field for you. Um, again, a little expensive for what you're getting, but to me, it's worth it. I mean, this is going to be one of those watches that's going to be talked about for years. Um, it's just it's just really cool, man. Really, really cool watch. Let me get it in focus here. There you go. Really, really cool. So that's about it for this video, guys. I'm trying to think of anything else I might have forgotten. I think that's about it. That's really about it. So if you liked this video, please click on like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. Every single subscriber that comes on my channel, I really, really do. I couldn't do it without y'all. You know, without y'all, I really appreciate your support. And make sure you know, sub you know, subscribe to me on Patreon too. I would really appreciate that as well. And uh, that's about it for this video. Um, gosh, that's it, guys. Until the next video, I will see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.